see that? What's up everybody? I'm Brian from I Want Tesla and I figured I'm done with the wrap so, well almost done with the wrap, but I figured I'd show it to you before showing you all the process of doing it because it was two and a half days of work. And I still got a little bit more to do, but let me show it to you first and then I'll show you in the shop what I did to do this or how I did this. This is a satin psychedelic film by 3M. So it kind of shifts a little bit, but there's a matte finish to it. They make this in a high gloss as well. I'll have a link in the description. I got this on Amazon and I'll have exactly what I used for this because I didn't go all the way down the side. I, well, I did go down most of the side, but then I had these stripes going back into the factory paint. I wanted to keep the factory paint look a little bit and I wanted some design that is eye catching. So people know that it's my car. Uh, you got to stand out on YouTube. My kids really hate that part, but oh well. You can't really see it too well until you get way down. I have on the side of the car embossed in the, underneath here is just a regular white Tesla logo. It's six foot long, 13 and a half inches tall, all the way down the side on both sides. I was hoping that would pop a little bit more once this was here, but I think the matte finish is taken away from that a little bit. But I love that. I love that feature. And then I was going to have, I was going to put those underneath the film as well, but I like how they stand out quite a bit and then it ties the white into here. Kind of asking your opinion, should I do the front wheels white and leave the back wheels that color? Got to stand out on YouTube, kind of show the brand a little bit and uh, put myself out there a little bit. This way you know it's my car when you see it on the road. Or if you see me at Cars and Coffee, you know it's my car in the Charlotte area here. And any subscriber, come up to me. You can sign the wrap if you want to. Got to subscribe though. I think we're going to sign this fender. I've actually messed this fender up. This was the first piece I did. Actually, the hood was the first piece I did. And then the second piece was the fender and this was the hardest piece to do well second hardest piece i did the bumper last and that is ridiculously hard for a first time wrapper i screwed up on that and i'm going to be replacing that eventually but for right now i think it looks pretty good for me screwing it up this was a very very fun project i really enjoyed it and i probably will do it again eventually i'm gonna do something funky next time have my own wrap printed which is not as expensive as you might think the most expensive part about getting a car wrapped is the installation so I think I'm going to start with this fender and then maybe we'll bleed into the bumper when we sign signatures on this. So I'm going to be going to a couple of events here soon, uh, each month really. I'm thinking about going in August 3rd to Bowling Green, Kentucky. There's a big uh, Tesla event there at a racetrack and I'm thinking about going. I think Andy Sly is going to be there. I think it'd be kind of cool to connect with everybody there, let you guys see the car. I'm not going to be on the track at all, but I'd like to be there just to be there. And then September, Blue Ridge Parkway Drive in North Carolina here in by Asheville. Uh, that's going to be a very fun event. There's a lot of cars. I think there's already 100 cars. There's a dinner afterwards. And then back to the track again in Raleigh, North Carolina, just north of Raleigh, like we did last year. It's not a track race. It's a track day to learn your car and learn about you and what you can do and learn what this car can do. This car can do a lot. So there's the wrap. It's made by 3M. It's a 1080 film. Satin Psychedelic is the color. And I think it looks pretty cool. It's not for everyone. And like I said, I'm not done. I need to wrap this part and it's going to have the dashes as well. I need to put my spoiler back on here and I've got some new uh, Tesla letters on the back from Abstract Ocean. And then I got some, a couple other things I want to do. And you might be asking yourself, well, what's that? Matches the avatar on the screen when you put it into drive. Just something stupid and goofy. It's getting a little windy over there. Not the easiest project to do, but also not the hardest project to do. I have a really hard project coming up, I think, that is going to be lowering the car. But this is it, it's difficult, in fact, that you're trying to put a flat sticker on a round surface. So if you haven't done anything like that before, then, you know, it is well worth the money, reasonable money, if you're going to pay someone to do this for you. But it took me about two and a half days of 
off and on working, learning. I learned a lot. And the next one would take me a lot less time and I would make a lot less mistakes. There is mistakes on this, but that's the point of doing it yourself. It only cost me 400 bucks to do this versus three or four or $5,000 to have someone do this. The bumper took a really long time, the front bumper, because I screwed up. Uh, I took the bumper off and I tried to do it that way, but it's too loose. You need to you need to loosen it off the car so you can actually get to things and clean things, but then you need to lightly put it back on so you can actually wrap the car and stretch it and do all these things. And so I will eventually replace that piece and that one fender that I'll let you guys sign. But on a scale of one to 10 difficulty level, I think being the first one, I think the difficulty level is about a nine. Uh, if you're handy, about an eight. The second time you do this, or if you have a friend, friend will really help, make it a seven. But uh, I don't have any friends. The second time you do this, you're probably around a six. So uh, that's if you have some DIY skills. A lot of people don't have those skills at all, and that's when you want to hire somebody. There's a lot more to do to this car. I have a lot planned for this. I'm super excited. I think it looks amazing. There's a little bit of shade on it, but I think it looks amazing, especially once I'm done with all the pieces that I want to do to it. Uh, drop the stance a little bit. And like I said, for 400 bucks or just under $400, all the material to do this, uh, I, I think it came out amazing. If you guys have the time to do this, I would try it. And the cool thing is with the wrap, you can do one panel at a time. Do one panel one evening, do another panel another evening, if you don't mind driving it like that. Some people are a little weird about that. Some people are weird about driving it like this. I do get a lot of looks, but that's okay. Here's some footage of me in the shop. I'm not showing how to do it. There's plenty of people out there that know how to do this that I learned from on YouTube. And I'll have a, I'll have a few of their channels linked down below so you can take a look at them. CK Wraps, he's a great guy up in Canada. Premium Wraps out in California. Their channel, they're, they got an awesome channel. They got like 230,000 subscribers, I think. Uh, he's got a whole shop full of people doing wraps every single day and they're killing it. Uh, there's a bunch of other rap companies. Rap Legends, PFS out in California. I wanted to show you this and then show you the footage. So if you guys didn't want to stick around, that's great. Let me know in the comments though, if you like the rap, what else you think I should do to it. If you don't stick around, subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a lot more cool, fun stuff like this. Enjoy the footage. I'll see you on the next one. Dudes, you guys are gonna go back in time. Um, I already started this project uh, earlier today. I'm not filming yet because I didn't want, I didn't want to make a mistake and have you guys see me cry. I wanted to really get some um, practice in before I really showed you. This is the first time wrapping a vehicle. I've done some other stuff inside the car like the dash, but this is the first time wrapping a vehicle. It's not easy, especially by yourself. I had my dad help me cut up the material because it came in uh, long rolls. I've got the hood done and I've got one fender done. I'm pleased with it. I've learned a lot. <laughs> I've learned a lot. I can show you, I've, I've watched a ton of videos on this and YouTube University is one of the greatest things uh, f to learn something. That's why I felt confident jumping into this project myself. Let me show you what I've done so far. If you follow us on uh, Twitter, my wife posted a picture of what's to come. And I have a Tesla, a, a six foot Tesla logo along the side of the car. Let me get down, let me get down low for you. I, it's a six foot Tesla logo along the side of the car. That is gonna be underneath the vinyl. So it is gonna be a ghosted image of the Tesla logo. I also wrapped uh, the side cameras. I thought about wrapping this as well, but it didn't want to affect the camera at all. So far it's came out, it's coming along really great. I've made some mistakes and especially on this, <laughs> this was a very tough panel to do. I may do, redo that later on, but I've learned a lot from it. And this is a great, uh, this is a great learning experience really. Uh, I'm enjoying it. So far to do the hood and this fender, taking my time, not knowing what I'm doing, has taken me about three hours of prep work and maybe four hours, because last night I got the vehicle prepped and up on jack stands. Um, you don't have to have it on jack stands, but it's a lot easier. But the key to life and a good wrap job is preparation.
New day, more vinyl. Today, we're going to get to the, the, other, the other door, the passenger side door. I've already cleaned the bumper. Uh, that's why the hood's up. I've already cleaned the bumper so and clay bar the bumper, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I think I'm going to remove the bumper. I think I'm going to pull it off and work on it. It's just so low and so awkward. Uh, I'm looking to figure out what I'm going to do here. I've already messed with some inlays. And it's really hard to put these in here that far to the ground. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to make these. So I think I'm going to pull this off and lay it on something so I can work vertically. Let's knock this door out. So all those lines are actually knifeless tape. You see that little thin line here? If you peel that off, you fold it over, put your thumb over top of it, and then you yank it just a little bit, then that little thin line is gonna cut the vinyl in that straight line all the way down. And then you can remove the tape that's holding it, and now you got a straight line. The third day, working on the car, removing the bumper. This wire harness actually runs along the whole front, so there's only one connection, and then the bumper's free. Let's take a look at the front bumper here. This is one of the crash bars. There are the louvers for the cooling systems for the battery. Cooling systems for the battery, and looks like there's the horns. That's the wiring harness that comes down that was attached up here. This green wire I disconnected because that's what my lights were, my fog lights, those ones that synchronize across. One of the reasons I took, apart, took off the bumper was it's going to be easier to wrap, first of all. I want to take this shield, if possible, and add to the front of this. I was talking to one of the mobile service guys and he said that there was tabs here. And if, we put, if I put something here, then it'll push the bumper out flush with the light because there's no reason for that to not be flush. And the newer cars do have it flush. So you see these clips, these clips are the hard parts of the, in taking off the bumper. These are really strong clips. You just gotta get in there and pry back just a little bit and they will come loose. And up front here looks like we have the radar. This is the home link. So some of the new cars now don't have the home link coming from the factory. You, ha you have to buy that and test the will install that. They'll have to take off your bumper to install it, which is kind of crazy. You'd think they would already be there, but maybe they put it somewhere different in the new cars. It's a lot easier to get to. 